In this video you'll see how to repair small cracks to stucco prior to painting. Welcome to the Average Me Channel, I'm Mark, and in this video I am going to show you how to fix the cracks in stucco. I've got about a dozen cracks along this wall. They're not real big, they're not real deep. So in that case this is going to be a real easy fix. I only need two things, well maybe three if you include water. I'm going to need some caulk, I'm going to need a brush or a rag or a sponge. In this case I'm going to be using a brush and a little bit of water. The caulk we're going to use is fast dry acrylic latex caulk. This is important. I want to paint it so I want it to be the uh, acrylic latex. This is 50 year caulk so it's going to do a real nice job. This is such a simple project so let's get started. So here's the first crack. Real thin. You can almost just paint over this and have the paint fill it in. But I want to make sure this crack doesn't come back. So we're going to take our latex caulk, I have that cut at a bit of an angle, about a 45 degree angle, and I'm just going to run that caulk right along that crack, and if possible I'm going to squirt that right in deep to the crack. Not a very big crack, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to dip my finger in some water and I'm just going to run it along, smooth it out, and at the same time really press that caulk into the crack. And the last step is with a wet brush. I'm going to smooth this out. So it matches the rest of the wall. And look at that, no more crack. So once again, we're going to squeeze the caulk right into the cracks. With a wet finger, I'm going to work it right in. This conk only takes about 20 minutes to dry. So by the time I work my way all the way down the wall, I'll come back and any of those cracks out were a little wider or a little deeper, I'll refill a second time. The conk will shrink just a little bit and I may notice that they're a little deeper and that'll give me a chance to fix that. Then we'll be ready to paint. So you can see there's lots of places here that I repaired, but once we paint this, you will never even notice it. And as you can see here, this is not a very thick layer of stucco. It's probably why I'm getting so many cracks in the first place. So you don't really have to go too deep with that caulk for it to do its job. Uh, this is really only a skim layer. It's only about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth. What about my tools? Am I being rough on this brush? Well, the caulk is water soluble, so it will wash right out. The stucco is probably a little rough. This is an old brush, that's why I chose to use it. I'm going to use this brush when I paint as well because I'll really be, you know, pushing that paint into the stucco to make sure I get good coverage. So I probably don't want to use the best brush I have, but yeah, this will do just fine. It's not going to cause a great degree of damage to my brush. And if it does, yeah, so I spent $7 on a brush. But what about those deeper cracks and holes and pieces of stucco that actually fall off or places where it gets damaged? I'll address that in an upcoming video. We're going to handle that just a little differently. And let's take a look at the results so you can see the crack here and then it disappears as we move into the area that we repaired. Let's look at another one. Once again you follow the crack up and there is the repair. 
And as always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel. Oh,